This segment brought to you by Bob Schwartz Financial. Values, commitment, transparency. visiting with John Bengasser, resident of Beloit, Kansas. Spent most of his working career as a teacher away from that area. Grew up in the Wakanda Springs area, which is more or less uh, just south and halfway between Cocker City and Glen Elder, Kansas. The Great Spirit Spring is what the Indians called it in 1904, the St. Louis uh, World's Fair. It won a medal for its superior medicinal qualities. Then John grew up there. Him and his family operated the springs as a a health spa. His pool was on top of a cone shaped mound about 40 feet higher than the surrounding landscape and it was 50 feet across in diameter and it kind of rose and fell a little bit with the seasons. Now a lot of people thought it rose with the tide or rose with the moon but it was with the seasons of the uh, year. In the winter time it would drop about 18 inches and then in the summertime sometimes it would overflow and it's very unique because it looks like it sets on top of a mound doesn't leak out. It keeps the depth and height there all the time. Back in the early 1900s, uh, the teens and the 20s, it was uh, a very popular place. But but now before it became a medical place, it was kind of a place where people gathered to have fun, picnics uh, and dances and all that kind of stuff. People from all over the country would come for those celebrations. There was a train that ran through there. People would come for a weekend out of Kansas City and then another one out of Denver and then they would have uh, a lot of parties and fun. During that time, it's kind of where things uh, went haywire. It caused things in bankruptcy of some sort and then that's how my great-grandfather was able to obtain the place. He purchased it in 1906. It was a uh, health spa hospital type, a three-story and a large basement, had a 48-room bed for hospital for uh, patients, and then two large uh, treating rooms for the patients to uh, take their baths and get their cure. The the water from the Wakanda Springs was used in two ways. Uh, One was through bath treatments, and the other was through uh, consumption so that uh, they can clean out the system yes that, that and it, the water was pumped to the two bathhouses the women's bathhouse and the men's and it was used as a uh, method of uh, going from hot to cold the baths took place with uh, large tubs and high pressure water from sprays and then a dip of the cold mineral water and more spray this went on for about 10 or 15 minutes and then the people would then soak in the tub at pretty hot temperature and then they were wrapped in hot packs, hot towels and blankets for another 15 minutes or so and then they received manipulation and rub downs, massage. Their treatment was was very thorough. Many people received relief from any type of uh, disease or problem that they might have. In about the uh, late 40s, <clears throat> there was some talk that uh, the government might build a dam that would inundate Wakanda Springs. And this talk went on for quite a while. My dad was against this, a lot, as well as many other farmers in the area. They got together with the towns of Beloit and Downs and Cocker and Glen Elder and proposed a national monument to the early Plains Indians to be built there in hopes of uh, not uh, having them put the dam in. They campaigned for that for quite a while and even they had some legislation introduced in the House of Representatives and the Senate for that. The government had kind of made up their mind. They won out on that. The land was, big sanitarium hospital was bulldozed down. To make matters even worse, they piled all the rock inside the springs, thinking they could cap it off, but they couldn't cap it off. It it continued to spew the mineral water all the time. I'm Bob Swartz, 
and I've devoted the last 43 years to helping Kansans reach their retirement goals and to protect the family farm. At Bob Swartz Financial, we believe everyone should be able to live the retirement they've always dreamed of. Our team of professionals can help you create an efficient strategy using a variety of investment vehicles to help you address your financial needs and your concerns. Bob Swartz Financial values, commitment, and transparency.